Welcome back guys to episode four. On this episode, we're talking all about Fit Expos and taking you along for the ride. Let's get into it. All right, so we're gonna go meet up with Shannon right now. We're gonna get an inside look on the history of Sweet Sweat inside of trade shows. Come on. All right, hey Shannon. Hi, um, Kayla. So, we just wanted to sit and talk about your time at Sweet Sweat. So you wanna tell us about yourself and what you do here? Sure. So I've been working at uh, Sports Research, which owns Sweet Sweat for seven and a half years now. Wow. Yeah. But that is not where my journey with this company or brand started. So I think that that's super relevant, actually. Um, I, it's kind of like a family connection. Um, my sister has been jumping rope with the company for over 10 years. Um, my brother was actually one of the original artists for the company and brand. Oh, wow. I didn't know that. Yeah. That's cool. But it goes way back farther than that. Well, actually, the reason we know the Petersons is because uh, my father met, uh, my father Brian Llewellyn, mm -hmm. met Jeff Peterson um, back in the day. He's a master marketer and they actually met and Jeff Peterson had created this product called Sweet Sweat. And lo and behold, <laughs> my dad, he asked my dad for some help on how we're gonna market this product and get it out in the world. And so they actually traveled the world together selling this product and uh, jumping rope at in different countries to wow. try to get this product to adopt. off. So yeah, we go way back. This is even before like I was family. born. Yeah, That's it's boy. family. Oh, yeah. I love that. All right, so first question, when did Mr. Pearson begin taking Sweet Sweat to trade shows and why? So I believe, uh, according to my notes, <laughs> um, I don't want to get this wrong, but we're going to talk about somewhere between 1981 okay. and 1982. Mr. Peterson started jumping rope at malls. at malls. When I say malls, I mean there, you know, there's the kiosk. Yeah. Um, so the original trade show uh -huh. or expo was malls. So they would go to the different malls in the Southern California, mm -hmm. him, his wife, his wife's brother, mm -hmm. my dad, and there's a few others of this original jump team. And they would actually go in kiosks and demonstrate the product by jumping rope. At first they would try to run upstairs, but obviously that's inefficient. So mm -hmm. that's where the jump rope was was born because um, jumping rope is a little bit more efficient and you can have somebody watch live and see the sweat develop on one side of the body, not the other. Mm -hmm. And sweet sweat, it can come across as gimmicky, but it's yeah. it's in order to prove that, no, it's not a gimmick, it's for real, yeah. you jump rope. Okay. So probably of all the mall stories, the most epic one was, you know, every day they'd both split up to, on the days they could, mm -hmm. and they'd split up. But Mrs. Peterson, at eight months pregnant, was jumping at a mall in Riverside by herself. And she did such a good job getting the word out that one day she came back and she didn't even have to jump anymore. She just sold. She wow. had lines yeah. all throughout. Exactly. Yeah. So so at the mall situation, people would come up and say, hey, you know, Jeff or Brian or Marie, there's a, you know, there's a, a customer show here or mm -hmm. a trade show here. So they said at first there were consumer shows that they got into. The goal is ultimately to get into trade shows. Okay. First, you got to start with the consumer, okay. right? So basically there was a bunch of shows that were rec recommended. Mm -hmm. And from that, the, the big win was that my dad and Jeff and Marie, they went to Germany. So they went from oh jumping the malls of Southern California Germany. to a show in Germany. Wow, that's amazing. Yeah. What was the booth or experience like then versus now? Okay, so yeah, to, to feed off of kind of what I said, so the original booth experience, um, first of all, was just one person mm -hmm. back in the mall day. Mm -hmm. It was one person who would have to jump and sell. Got it. So it was simple. You have original sweet sweat jars. There was mm -hmm. no sticks. Okay. And they would jump rope, and they would jump rope on this plywood. Mm -hmm. um, and if people said, what is that? They'd stop jumping. They would show, and then they'd jump again. But of oh, course, wow. the whole thing with sweet sweat is, if you pull down too much, it doesn't work. But yeah. definitely a lot of work, and then you have to keep going, keep going, keep going, because mm -hmm. people want to see it work, and they also don't believe you. They think you know you poured water on. So yeah. the similarity is that you have to keep jumping rope to have people believe. Mm -hmm. um, but we just expanded a lot of the products from yep. uh, um, just the sweet sweat jar to now we have several different scents. Could mm -hmm. Go through those in a sec, but um, <laughs> then we have waist trimmers too. But um, 
And then, yeah, the thermal camera was introduced, I think I mentioned this, in 1987. Mm -hmm. And that also was... It's a, it's a very high priced item. Yeah. So traveling with a TV to kind of show the thermal camera working, um, that once that was introduced, that was also something that was a critical aspect of showing. So now you have not just showing the sweet spot work, but then you have the science of, it's uh, able to measure the heat coming off one side versus the other. Perfect. Cool. It's definitely healthy. It's healthy, <laughs> yes. For the customer experience, what are the benefits of seeing our booth out of the expo? So yeah, the customer experience from day one is actually like, that is the main purpose of these shows mm -hmm. is to allow them to see past the apparent, um, you know, sweet sweat. What is that? Like it yeah. is really to answer that question live, to have any question or doubt of, is it a gimmick? No, mm -hmm. it's not a gimmick. It's for real. Mm -hmm. And yes, it works. And yes, it can work for you too. So the customer experience allows the customer to see, to smell, to feel the gel. And then to actually, they can't try it there because yeah. you actually have to work out for it. To work but they can actually see what it feels like and then they can watch it demonstrated live and see for themselves that it's really happening live and there's nobody behind the scenes kind of editing that yeah. to make it look. so yeah it is it's the live experience and um it's really difficult to du duplicate that even if you're doing a camera yeah. and have to really in yeah. any way other than the show in front of you I mean, I feel like that's our big problem with social sometimes is that like you only get to see like 20 seconds of a video, you know, so yeah. it's like you're not seeing the whole workout. So yeah, to people, it's like, yeah. Credibility. Um, I yes. Think, I think really credibility. And then now maybe the added assets because we have so many scents and colors, mm -hmm. they can see it for themselves, the product and see it, feel it, smell it and be like, yes, that's for me or ooh, this is my new favorite. Totally. Nice. Right. Okay, so last but not least, um, over the last years, do you know how many cities Sweet Sweat has traveled to for the Fit Expos? Oh, yeah. So when I asked Mr. Peterson this question, because I'm like, okay, I don't want to do this justice, mm -hmm. he didn't stop. So, oh. so I'm just going to go, I'm actually going to read off all the stuff I was able to jot down. Okay. But when I say we've traveled all over the world, Sweet Sweat has traveled all over the world. And I say we. I haven't been there myself, <laughs> but, you know, yes. part of my family... And but the Sweet Sweat brand has been there. Mr. Peterson himself has done most of these. Okay. okay. Are we ready? Okay, so we've been to Europe, Asia, South America, Canada, Mexico, Australia. Um, and when I say South America, all over South America. Brazil many times. Okay. Um, and then all major cities in the U.S. So wow. the ones I jotted down. New York, Chicago, San Francisco, uh, Vegas, Miami, New Orleans. Oh my gosh. And so on and so forth. Wow. Yeah. And then, you know, San Jose, San Diego, just mm -hmm. they have been everywhere. So yeah. I think that understanding that the Fit Expo, the LA Fit Expo is one of the most common ones and it's local. Mm -hmm. But the history of traveling the world and in particular the U.S. Mm -hmm. in more recent times to demonstrate the product is, is a real thing. And at, they would go almost every weekend originally wow. because they knew that this was a word of mouth product. And if yeah. they could show it in person and make people believe, then they would buy it on the spot. Wow. Yeah. That is amazing. I think so too. Sweet side is taking over. Taking it over is. the whole world. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So thanks, Shannon, for chit chatting with us. Um, and we're going to get you on the vlog some more okay. later on. Sounds good. <laughs> All right. We'll see y'all later. What's up you guys? My name is Avery and I am doing a YouTube takeover. The LA Fit Expo is coming up and I want to show you guys how to prepare for it. Let's go. So at the LA Fit Expo, we have a live demonstration, which means we have people jump roping for an hour to an hour and 15 to an hour and a half, which seems like a lot, but with the adrenaline from the crowd, it doesn't, it's not that long. So how I like to prepare is first of all, hydrate, hydrate, hydrate. Um, I like to get some nice electrolyte drinks, whatever you want. Um, lots and lots of water. You gotta stay hydrated if you're gonna jump rope that long. Also, you show better because we wear a sweet set on one side of our body and not the other side to show how the product works. And if you're really hydrated, chances are you're gonna sweat more obviously and show more. I like to make sure that I have some sort of complex carb, either these little fingerling potatoes or oatmeal or sweet potatoes, some kind of... Shh.
I'm filming. I like to make sure that I have some sort of complex carb, whether it be a regular potato, oatmeal, sweet potato, to make sure that my muscles are replenished and recovered and then I have enough energy for my next day of jump roping. Next order of business, stretching. So important before you jump rope because your muscles get tight, they're gonna hurt after you jump, but you wanna make sure that you prime them before you jump for an hour, or an hour, two, an hour whatever. Let's go. biggest muscles you're going to use while you're jumping is your calves. So this is one of my favorite stretches to do before and after I jump to really stretch out my calf muscles. You're on your toes the whole time, so it's going to get really tight up in your calves. I also like to focus on my hands and my forearms. You wouldn't think your hands, but because you're gripping the jump rope the whole time, they do get a little tight and a little sore, and same with your forearms. So I like to make sure that I do stretches for those as well. Girl, listen, mommy has to work because I gotta buy food for you. Yes, I do. And I gotta pay your vet bills when you eat something dumb. Okay, hang on. So now I'm actually gonna show you guys how I train for the expos. All right, first and foremost when training for the expo is you don't wanna burn yourself out before you actually go and perform on the podium, stage, whatever. So what I like to do is I like to jump around 30 minutes so you don't wear yourself out and maybe like three times before the show but space it out. I also make sure that I'm not just jumping on two feet because you'll get more worn out. So I like to switch my weight to make sure that I'm giving my calves a little bit of a break. You can do this, you can do this. But, and then towards the end of my workout, I'll try trick stuff. But not too much, because again, you don't wanna wear yourself out. And that's it. And that's it. Thanks for coming along my YouTube takeover. We will see you at the expo. Hey guys, we're here at the LA Fit Expo. It's day one, let's go find the Sweet Sweat Booth. Dark blue and black. The, the blood 
is away from it. That's why it's so hard to break down, like fatty tissue area in your stomach or your eyes and see what's going on away from it. And it shouldn't. It should stay there, right? Because you're working out right. All right, here we have some of the sweet sweat gels in every single pen. We have all these different containers too. We have the sticks.